it should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face, pushes forward. He gets to the clinch, loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two. Future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone in DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot in the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones' resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a look-see do fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Great. So the fight is now underway on one side here with the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Nice kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here to And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped right around the world. He's got to be careful, different head when he's throwing that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Just misses with a left hook there. He is throwing an entire hip into his body shot. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Checks that leg kick. Good punch, Lance. 
and just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, collar tie. Nice combination of elbows to the head. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Jones has got the full mount. So his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Big kick lands. Nice combination there by Johnny Bones. Mike Wicklejohn always says we've only seen 30% of what he can do, maybe 35% after that beautiful combo. And that's insane to think that you're not seeing John Jones at his full potential with all that he's accomplished. He's a phenomenal athlete and a fantastic fighter. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a smash to take down a kick land. All right, side control now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Get out of there. Oh! Watch the left, watch the left. Oh, man, that was slick. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. Now he's okay. Now he's gonna skin. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. 
Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Two rounds in the books. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. You ready to fight? Ready. Third and final round here. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training rooms are going to pay off. Right hand punches the clinch. Great. Oh, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got it hurt bad. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. Jones has got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Yep, got to be very careful there. Inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Jones is going for an arm here. Now to go in the fight. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Jones has his got full mount now. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. kick right there, landed perfect. The official decision is now in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision. Jones! 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 All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to lead the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of the fight and getting the victory. He's going to be very proud of his performance.